Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So uh, I just wanted to make a short video on some tips to get the most out of your fourth gen Camaro. And some of these tips can apply to pretty much any car. But uh, if you've been watching my videos, I've been talking about little things you can do to, to make your car more consistent. And uh, one of those things is a manual fan switch, which I just recently done a video on. And another one is when you're waiting, whether whether you're street racing or, or uh, at the track, when you're waiting to make your run, uh, have your heater on full blast. I know it's uncomfortable, uh, especially on hot days, but that's when the car needs it most. Because these uh, fourth gens are very sensitive to temperature. They'll pull timing if you if temperature gets up there and. Uh, the thing about these cars is they don't have a lot of timing to begin with, so when you start pulling out a degree or two, or sometimes three, it can really affect performance. And then uh, another thing, a cheap modification you can make is for these fourth gens, a 160 degree thermostat. It's not that expensive, and it's a fairly easy modification to make, so that's that can be a big help. And uh, I got a video on how to launch on street tires. If you don't have drag radials, and it, and this is more for cars that don't have a high stall converter, because if you got a high stall converter, you absolutely need to have a set of drag tires if, to get the most out of your car. Launching on street tires. Uh, instead of just stabbing the throttle, what you need to do is is take time and learn your car you want what you want is to launch the car as hard as you can while still maintaining traction so you want to be right on the very edge of losing traction and that takes a lot of practice now I show you I give you an idea of what I mean in a video that I made not too long ago oh another tip uh, is whatever you're using for a cold air intake you want to try to seal it up as best you can like but anyway you want to keep uh, as much heat out of your intake air as you can because that's a that's a big help so when you combine all these tips that I'm given I mean they don't add up to much by themselves but if you use all of them it can give you an advantage over your opponent if they're not doing these things like if, if you're if you're and the thing is about a drag race you don't necessarily have to have the fastest car and reaction time is a big thing too. That's something else you need to practice on. But anyway, guys, I'm just gonna just giving you a few tips on how to get the most out of what you have. But this is for people who are, you know, they've they've got a certain amount of work done to the car, and that's all they've got to work with, and they need every advantage they can get. Well, using these tips by keeping the engine cooler, by making sure you're not losing traction, uh, try to get the best reaction time possible you can you can sometimes beat cars that are faster than yours anyway guys i just thought i'd make a quick video and uh like i got other videos on the channel that kind of show what i'm talking about but anyway i hope you enjoy the video hope it helps somebody out and we'll catch you in the next one